I start every press conference off with our mission statement, and I'll do that again today. Our mission statement will let everybody who's not familiar with the miners know what we're about, what our goal is, and is also what we use as a measuring stick to know that we're meeting our expectations. Our goal is to allow players to develop their skills to advance to the next level and or for the love of the game, while providing quality entertainment and community service for our area. We intend to improve football and sport in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Today I'm excited to say we are right on track on that mission statement. They say if you can make it in business in that three to four, three to five year mark, you're gonna make it. As we enter year four, I'm very confident that we're making it and ready to take it to the next level. And you'll see that by the cast of supporters we have with us today. And what we're looking to do is get an organization that shares our vision for outstanding football entertainment, for community service, having us all on the same page to reach that goal. You know, our goal is to be in that same sentence with the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Yankees, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. The NAPA Miners are here to be Northeastern Pennsylvania's hometown football team, and in year four, we're looking to go from good to great. To be able to do that, you need to have the right people. You need to have good people that share that vision and bring something to the table. We're a lot different than minor league football. We're actually trying to become exactly what you've seen minor league baseball, minor league hockey, minor league soccer. Uh, for years, what we call minor league football has never had the foundation to bring these teams to the forefront where we could actually divulge into our community. As I see these small gentlemen sitting in front of us, this is one of the main reasons why minor league football is going to grow. You've probably seen uh, a lot of college, colleges today are eliminating their football programs. You're seeing a lot of high schools today are eliminating their football programs. So believe it or not, even the NFL is curious to what's happening to our pool of players. Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? What's going to help to keep these guys interested in the game itself? Now, they're in a video era right now, so there's not a, ho a whole lot of TV watching. They're sitting in front of a computer screen. What we offer through our, our brand of minor league football, we give these guys the opportunity to come to a game and actually speak to a player. Touch him, 360 pound man, shake his hand, have him sign an autograph, carry his helmet. These young kids don't know the difference between a 360 pound man on TV or a 360 pound man standing right in front of them with a helmet, shoulder pads, even comes with the sweat, it's real life. To talk to them and make them part of their experience. But let's look at it bigger than that. Let's look at it from the economy perspective. If we go to the average NFL game, and we, and we do enjoy going there, but the fact of the matter is a lot of us today don't have that type of money to lay out. I love the fact that a father can take his two sons and his two neighbors to a game like the NEPA Miners, and at, at $40, the kids have all the hot dogs they want, they have all the sodas they want, there's entertainment happening for them, and at the end of the day, that father can still feel like a father. That's one of the main reasons that we continue to push our agenda and strengthen our minor league football. From a business perspective, as Tracy mentioned, we cover all the way from Hartford, Connecticut, all the way down to North Carolina, because there are other people that think like us. The gentleman that you just formerly heard speak, they're a main component of what we're trying to do. We're trying to take some of these grown men who actually were former outstanding high school athletes, former college athletes, that basically have said, after the sport, what else can I do? We brought them back on the field to, again, relive those glory days in their community, but it comes with a price, the price of now they've got to help out in the community. All of our teams are a major, major for community service. With no further ado, from Bristol, Tennessee, to Scranton, Pennsylvania, I introduce the NEPA Miners' new head coach, Bill Kazee. Welcome, Coach. All right, I hope everyone brought their Southern dialect transition book, translation book, because here it comes. <laughs> Believe me, it's here. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Dan and his beautiful wife, Michelle, for their hospitality this weekend. And for the past two weekends, I've came in for an interview and tour of this beautiful community. I'd like to thank the Miners family. I uh, love being a part of it now, all the board of directors, but especially the community and now the team. It's not my team, it's a Scranton's team. We're gonna put on the field professional players 
and we're going to prove that every time we take the field and out in this community as we serve the community. I want to thank most of all this lovely young lady sitting over here to my left, my wife, Missy, because without her, I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> That's what we need, be at the games. I feel honored and blessed to be here today, be a part of this team and the community of Scranton. I'm very eager and excited to coach at this new level. I've been at the high school level for a lot of years and all the way up from fifth grade flag football all the way up through high school levels. I've had a little bit of coaching experience as an assistant coach at Emory Henry College, a linebacker coach. I'm gonna bring that to you. I'm very proud and honored to be associated with the minors, but I'm also very proud to have been a part of the fellowship, fellowship of Christian Athletes while I was a high school athlete way back in the Stone Age. I was a uh, leader in that capacity and wouldn't trade it for the world. I was kind of amazed that um, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes weren't up here already, but I guarantee it will be now. And you could do a whole lot worse. You can't do any better than being associated with the FCA. I want to give you a little bit of a personal note that's happened to me recently, I'll tell you a little bit about where I'm coming from. Three weeks ago today, I lost my father to cancer. He battled strong, and he always has. He gave me everything I've got as far as my passion, my desire, everything I've got. We buried him on a Wednesday. I came up here on a, the next day for an interview. The reason I did that is because if I didn't, he would have kicked my backside. Because not only does he believe in football, there's just no quit. And I don't believe in that either. I'll never quit, never have, never will. One thing I'd like to contribute my abilities to, first and above all, is Jesus Christ. I have a strong faith of which I'm going to bring to this play, these players, this team, and hopefully the community. Hopefully you'll see it when you meet me. You'll feel it when you shake my hand. And you'll see it on our field with our players. My motto for life, and I say this probably too much, according to my wife, is uh, believe and you will exceed. You're not just going to achieve at life if you believe. You're going to exceed everything you can ever imagine. That's why I'm here today. I've been given a, an awesome opportunity to be a part of not only this team, this great family back here you see, but also this community. We've been here this weekend, uh, just kind of going around the different areas. And everywhere we go, besides uh, getting the occasional comment about the dialect and where we're from, it's just open arms, it's just welcome. From where we're staying to everywhere we've gone, it's just been a great response. I don't wanna bore you to death, so I'm just gonna say a couple more things toward the end of this. We're standing in Steamtown Mall, Scranton, Pennsylvania, home of the office. So I just wanna say to end off, we are the NEPA miners and we're ready to go to work. Let's get it.